Hello everyone and welcome to a video which I just, I just, oh, uh, I have never purchased nipple covers in my life or like bra cutlets or anything. I just have never needed them and uh, I didn't think that this was going to be the time to do so, but I mean, apparently this is like the new thing of applying foundation. I mean, I actually feel like I have not seen one person that actually likes the way that their foundation goes on with these 100% silicone type applicators, but you guys want me to try it for a hacker hoax, so hey, that is what I am here for. I was at Nordstrom Rack a while ago and I saw these hanging on the wall and I I was like, you know, I guess it's time. I just, I, I don't need nipple covers. <laughs> it's not that I don't have nipples, it's just that I always wear a bra because I, I need one. I have, I have an ample bosom and not wearing a bra is just not, not a part of my future. Ever. Past, present, future. If you can see on the packaging there, this is 100% silicone, which is exactly what the Silly Sponge is. That's what these are supposed to be dupes for, is that crazy silicone sponge that's supposed to apply your foundation perfectly, and that they've had like millions of restock and reorders. I ordered mine like probably two months ago and I haven't seen it yet so I don't know where it is. I feel like it's supposed to be getting to me anytime now but I have no idea so I figured I have this. I'm sick of waiting. I want to rub this on my face and I want to do it with you guys. I believe the cool kids on the internet are calling these booby blenders. You know like a play on the beauty blender because these are for your boobs. I get it. So okay let's see. I've never even touched one of these. Oh, they're so weird. Looks and feels just like I thought it would. It feels like a piece of silicone and I'm about to rub this nipple cover all over my face. So I guess I'm just gonna be using it like this, right? Because this side is like, I don't want people to yell at me. Oop, yep, okay. The top side of this does not have any plastic or anything on it. This is just the actual silicone. So I'm gonna be using a brush on one half of my face and then one of these booby blenders on the other half of my face. And then we can just see what the difference is and everything. I think it's pretty clear, but I don't have anything on my face at the moment. And I'm going to be using my foundation of the moment here. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Another one of the perks to using these silicone sponges is supposed to be that, you know, obviously you won't be using as much foundation with this because you don't have a brush or a sponge or something that's going to be absorbing some of the product. So I totally get that, but I feel like people have just been saying, you know, it just kind of makes things sit on top of the skin and like, well, we shall see. I'm willing to give it a try. So I'm just going to use like a very baby amount of foundation to start because... Like I said, you're supposed to be able to use not a lot of foundation. And then it's also supposed to be great because then, you know, you can just wipe it clean. Let's do this. Oh, it feels horrible. Do you see that texture? <laughs> Ew. It like doesn't even rub in. Mm. It's just like, it's sitting on top of my pores, right? I mean, granted, I am able to like, push it around and everything, but it looks terrible. <laughs> like, really bad? You guys, can you, I hope you can see this. You see all the streaks and like, every single one of my pores? Holy cow, so I need more. I want to get my forehead done. Oh, too much? Yep, yep, probably. But that's okay, we can just sm Oh god, look at- <laughs> Who came up with this? I mean, they said, you know, you can do the padding motion too. Let's see if that- I just- That sound. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I just feel like there's no control with this. You're just wiggling it around and hoping for the best. I mean, I guess I'm putting it on my eyes because I don't really have a choice, but... Oh, I just... 
I hate how slippery it feels. Like, do you see, it, it does not, it absolutely does not, like, go into your pores. And I'm pretty sure I was even watching another video where they said that the Silly Sponge website even says, you know, that you can apply your foundation with this, but then you might want to use, like, an actual brush or something to finish it off. Like, what, doesn't that defeat the purpose, though? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but... Okay, there. Did that do it? I think that was my best effort with the booby blender. I am now going to go ahead, put some foundation on this half of my face. So see, this is that, that was actually less than what I used for the silicone blender side, but see with a brush, it just glides right on you know pretty pretty even coverage it feels good nice and soft I mean not that the bra insert wasn't soft but you know a different kind of soft and look at I mean that's practically blended already like I feel like this isn't even a competition or like, I mean, it is a competition, I guess, in seeing which is the best, but I feel like the results are pretty dang obvious. Like, would you rather have this side where all of my pores look super visible and just... Mm-mm. Or would you rather have this side that was so nicely blended? You know, it just looks kind of cakey around the hairline, but then it just looks kind of... Nice and smooth and even. I feel like this is kind of unfair because now I obviously have a fuller coverage on the one side since I did use more. I'll just go ahead and stipple some more in here so we can have a semi, a semi even comparison of things. I mean, I really do. I just feel like this is no, there is no competition. <laughs> I feel like brushes and beauty blenders and all that they're so easy already and I guess I understand like the want for something like a silly sponge you know for less waste of product but I used less product on this half of my face than I did on this half of my face yet if you ask me this side is way fuller coverage you know more even more soft like a soft blend right like, please tell me I'm not the only one seeing this. Like, my pores look pretty dang good, I would say, on this side. On this side, no, no. For me, everything is pointing to brush side compared to nipple cover side. Right? Like, I can't be alone in seeing this. And there it is zoomed out. I feel like you can tell the difference there, too. You can see my necklace booby. There's a theme going here. I mean, kind of short and sweet hacker hoax here, but I think the results are pretty clear that the silly sponge dupe, the booby blender here, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I do not think that it applies things well. I understand the concept, but the actual practice what? <laughs> I'm sticking with what I've got. I have no idea what I'm going to use these nipple covers for, but maybe the internet will come up with some other kind of a hacker hoax with a nipple cover, and then I can give it a shot with the other one. As always, I just hope this video was helpful and or enjoyable for you guys in seeing whether or not you need to run out and get your hands on the new Silly Sponge, or if you need to bring out your nipple covers and bra cutlets and start rubbing those on your face, or if you should just stick with the same old, same old. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I always say. If it was helpful and or enjoyable, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!